Good morning learners. Today we will study further about microbes as our friend and foe. With the help of this concept map, I have tried to make you understand how the microorganisms are sometimes useful at the same time they are harmful. If you see in first side there is the uses of the microorganism shown like it is used in making curd, bread, cake, acid, alcohol, wine, vaccines, medicines, antibiotics, cleaning up of environment, increasing the soil fertility. So these are the some of the uses you can add more number of usefulness of microorganisms. Then some harmful effects are they cause diseases and spoilage of the food. Moving ahead, we will learn about communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are contagious or infectious diseases which can be spread from infected person to healthy person through various agencies like air, water, food or physical contact. Nowadays, you must have heard about or you already know about coronavirus which is highly communicable. So, Corona disease is one of the highly infectious disease caused by the virus. So that will also come under communicable diseases. There are some in insects and animals which act as carriers of the disease. They don't cause the disease directly. They are not the pathogens but they are the carriers. Carriers are also known as the vectors. There is a difference between pathogen and the carriers. Pathogen are the disease causing microorganism. They actually cause the disease whereas the vectors or the carriers they just carry the disease from the infected person to the healthy person. For example, female Anopheles mosquito. It is the carrier or the vector of the disease and the causal organism or the pathogen is the protozoan that is plasmodium. Plasmodium is one of the or the protozoa if you don't know the plasmodium but protozoa because you have learnt in microorganism one of the type of microorganism is protozoa. So protozoa is the causal organism or the pathogen of the disease whereas it is carried from infected person to healthy person through a carrier or the vector called female Anopheles mosquito. One more example is female Aries mosquito acts as a carrier of the dengue virus. Now there are some methods of food preservation. Microorganism spoil our food. Spoiled food gives very bad smell, had a bad taste and changes the color also. Methods of preservation are there are some chemicals which are used as a preservative like sodium benzoate and sodium meta bisulfite. Preservation by salts and sugars can also be done. Preservation by oil, vinegar is also done. Sometimes heat and cold treatment is used that is done while pasteurization of milk. I will explain it in next slides later on. Storage and packing. Dry fruits and even vegetables are sold in sealed airtight packets. You must have bought uh, your chips packet which are packed in such a manner that they use nitrogen just to avoid the spoilage. Thank you. Revise it and note down.